Hello and welcome to the video how to use iterator in Java Collections framework. I am Nam Haming at Code Java.net. In this video, you will learn why using iterator and understand the iterator APIs or iterator interface is key methods. And I will show you uh, how to iterate over list set Q and map uh, with some code examples. Why using iterator? You know, using iterator is the convenient way to traverse elements in collections in Java programming language. You can use iterator to iterate a general collection whose concrete type is not known at compile time, which is has next and next methods. Or you can use uh, iterator if you want to remove elements from the underlying collection during iteration with its uh, remove method. And let's understand the iterator interface in Java Collections framework. You know all the key collection types such as list, set, and queue uh, is the subtype of collection. The interface is list, set, and queue implement the collection interface. And collection interface uh, is the subtype of iterable interface and the iterable interface defines the method iterator that returns an iterator of the underlying collection so programmers can use iterator to traverse elements in a collection and the iterator interface in the java collections framework defines four methods for each remaining has next, next and remove the has next method returns true if the iteration has more elements and the next method returns the next element in the iteration it throws no shock element exception if the iteration has no more elements and the remove method removes the, la the last element returned by this iterator from the underlying collection and the for each remaining method performs the given action for each remaining element until all elements have been processed or the action throws an exception. So that's the meaning of each uh, method in the iterator interface. Now let me show you the coding in action. Firstly, uh, how to iterate over elements in a list collection using iterator. You see, here I have a collection of type list uh, with the generic type is string and this list is initialized with some elements such as orange, apple, banana, lemon and so on. Okay, now to uh, iterate uh, over each element in this list using iterator we can uh, use uh, we can write this code list fruits iterator calls the iterator method that returns an iterator object okay and then we use a while loop to traverse uh, elements in this list collection iterator dot has next so the while loop will run until uh, the iterator has next method return false okay and we get the current element using the next method iterator dot next and return a string object and we can uh, do some processing for the current element uh, for the sake of simplicity, I just print out the element. Okay, system dot l dot print line next. Very simple. Using iterator uh, to iterate uh, elements in this list collection. Now let me run this simple Java program. And you see in the console it prints the elements in this list you see orange apple banana lemon pearl melon and so on
or you can also use for loop uh, to iterate uh, elements in this collection with iterator instead of using while loop we can use for loop like this okay using for loop like this to iterate over elements in the collection using iterator now let me run this program again and it produces the same output you see and another way to uh, iterate over elements in a collection using iterator is using iterators uh, for each remaining method like this iterator for each remaining uh, it takes uh, an object of type consumer so we can pass a lambda expression like this we just want to uh, print out the each element so we can pass a lambda expression like this using a for each remaining method run as java application you see it uh, prints all the elements in the list collection so you see using for each remaining method is uh, perhaps the simplest way to iterate over elements in a collection using iterator We can use the remove method to remove the element being iterated in a collection using iterator. But note that the underlying collection must implement the remove operation, otherwise the unsupported operation exception will be thrown. And in this example, I'm going to show you how to remove some elements from the underlying collection uh, during iteration. So let me. Uh, use this statement to bring out the elements in the list fruits uh, before the code that will remove some elements list fruits iterator and we use while loop y iterator dot has next iterator dot next next and we check if uh, the next element contains the string apple then we remove the element using iterators remove method dot remove and after the while loop we print out the content of the list again before removal and this is after removal after okay run this program and you see uh, it throws the uh, unsupported operation exception because the list collection returned by the list of method is immutable uh, that means the return collection the underlying underlying collection cannot be modified so we need to make the list uh, mutable so we can construct a list like this new array list and it text uh, parameter is the is the list collection return here okay you see so the return list list fruits is uh, mutable so we can remove uh, elements now let me run the program again you see it works before removal and after removal, you can see the element uh, pineapple was removed uh, from the collection. So this is uh, how to use the remove method to remove elements from the underlying collection uh, during the iteration. Note that the underlying collection must uh, be uh, mutable. So the elements can be removed.
Next, let's see how to iterate uh, over elements in the shared collection. So I have a set of numbers uh, with some fixed uh, numbers uh, like this, you see. Now to iterate over this set, we uh, write a similar code with list collection. We need to get iterators from the collection iterator. And we can use while loop to iterate over elements in this set iterator dot has next and we get the next element from the iterator dot, dot next it returns an integer number and we can do some processing with this uh, number uh, for simplicity I just bring out the number to the console okay you see it prints values numbers in the set you can see in the elements uh, up here in a random order because uh, a set collection does not uh, order uh, elements in any order so you can see the elements are randomly listed iterated here if I run the program again and so you see the order of the numbers change. So this is how to iterate over elements in a set collection using iterator. Next, let me show you how to iterate elements in a queue collection. So I here I have a queue of animals and with some initial elements such as dog, cat, mouse, chicken and uh, let me uh, iterate over element in this queue using iterator queue animals iterator returns iterator object and use a while loop while iterator has next and get the current element iterator dot next next animal and for simplicity, simplicity I just print out the next element okay in the queue so you can see because queue is also uh, a collection so we can uh, use iterator to uh, traverse elements in uh, queue collection like this now let me run this program you see, it prints cat, chicken, mouse, and dog. You can see uh, the order of the elements uh, differ from the code that uh, offers the elements here because the underlying collection is of type priority blocking queue that orders elements by a natural order in case of string. It will order the elements by alphabetic order. Make sense? And next, let me show you how to uh, iterate uh, pairs of key and value in a map. You know, map uh, does not implement a collection interface, so we can't use the iterator method directory on a map. We, uh, but we can uh, iterate uh, a key value pairs in a map via its key set. So here you see I have a map of HTTP status uh, to our well, OK for for not found for three forbidden firewall internal server error. Now let me show you how to iterate uh, through uh, pairs of key and value in this map. Uh, we can get the key set uh, from the map like this key set. And yeah, we can get iterator from this set key set dot iterator iterator and yeah, we can use while loop iterator dot has next and the next element in the returned by the iterator uh, would be the key in the map so 
K of the integer K equal iterator dot next and value is and we get from the map map status get passing the key value you see and we print out key and value you see so this is how to iterate over pairs of uh, key value in a map using iterator we need to get iterator from a key set key set from the map and get the key and get the value like this now let me run this program you see it prints uh, five of internal server error for four not found for three forbidden to our okay exactly is uh, mapping uh, key value pairs uh, in this uh, initialization of this map so that's how to iterate over pairs of key and value in a map using iterator all right so far you have learned how to use iterator in java collections framework i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching